right here. Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to this special edition of Up With Krem. I'm Tim Pham. As severe weather hits our region, the Up With Krem team is tracking this severe winter storm all across our region. You can see right now on 5th and Monroe, uh, just south of downtown Spokane, there is a lot of snow coming down from Spokane South Hill to Coeur d'Alene and downtown. Heavy snow is falling all across the region. Our crews are standing by tracking it all. Here's a live look now at our certified most accurate radar. You can see right now that snow stationed over the inland northwest and it is not going anywhere anytime soon. On Up With Krem, when there's severe weather, our team alerts you before, during, and after. No other team in town has crews spread across the region like our team. Nicole Hernandez is in the storm tracker watching road conditions. Channing Curtis is keeping a close eye on new school closings and delays, but we begin with meteorologist Thomas Patrick. Thomas, you alerted us for days, letting us know this storm was coming and now it is here. Thomas, what's the very latest track? Yeah, and the latest is that we are still on for that heavy snow as we continue to see moisture basically inputted into the atmosphere and it continues to snow heavily across eastern Washington and north Idaho. Got a couple reports now across Spokane County anywhere between four and six inches of snow and obviously still snowing heavily. It did lighten up right at around seven o'clock, but it did pick back up and in terms of intensity, especially in just the last couple minutes as we zoom in over the Spokane, really the downtown Spokane area, you can see North Town towards Colbert getting some intensely heavy snow. That's the dark blue shade that you see on Doppler You can follow that out towards Coeur d'Alene as well. Snowfall rates have been close to one inch per hour and it's been snow since at least two o'clock this morning in Spokane. So in the past six hours, some areas have gotten six inches of snow and it does continue as well. We'll put this back into motion. You can see in that last hour, a lot more dark blue shades starting to uh, erupt across eastern Washington as we do see the continuous feed of moisture into our region. And that's why it will continuously snow this morning. Winter storm mornings continue through the day today and even into Thursday for portions of eastern Washington. Washington with visibility being reduced simply because of how heavy and intense the snow has been across the region, anywhere between a quarter to a half mile visibility in several locations around the inland northwest. So I mentioned that the snow just started to pick up in the last couple minutes. So now we'll send things back out to Tim Pham. And Tim, can you confirm that that snow has intensified just in the last couple minutes here? Oh my goodness, Tom, Thomas, you just called it. As soon as you were talking about it, the snow really did start to pick up. And not only the snow, but the wind. The snow was just blowing on our camera lens. We actually had to pan away for a second so we could clear off the lens just so we could show you our shot. But you can see right now on Monroe and Stevens, there is a lot of traffic on this hill. This is a notorious hill headed up to the South Hill that is very, very steep right now. You can see cars and uh, vans struggling to get through. This is one of the uh, routes that the city says that they will prioritize first, the arterials and emergency routes. This being a very busy hospital district, they will get to this area very soon. But let's take the latest measurement in this area right now. We brought the uh, ruler measuring tape out. We are about five and a half inches or so. And when you consider that this is also on top of new snow, it is very deep. We've seen snow plows going up and down as well as people clearing sidewalks in this area because again, there's a lot of patients that stay near here as well. Nicole Hernandez is keeping a close eye on road conditions from the Creme 2 Storm Tracker. Nicole, let us know where you are right now and what are you seeing from the Creme 2 Storm Tracker? So Tim, we are on I-90 back in the Spokane area and here in the Spokane area, I-90 is even worse than it was over in North Idaho. We have the same amount of cars on the road, but more lanes spread out. So these lane lines are not visible at all. Really a layer of snow across the entire freeway. There's only a few times a year where we see snow bad enough to cover I-90 like this and let it stay like this. So this is definitely significant winter driving conditions. We're having 
having trouble with slipping and sliding as we're making lane changes and turns and trying to get off the freeway, you can see off to our right here that the entire downtown just completely covered in snow, all the roads, all the sidewalks. So be extra careful as you head out the door this morning. One thing we've been hearing as well is that Highway 2 near Airway Heights in the airport area is actually even worse than we're seeing in other parts of town. So that's where we're headed right now to check out for you to see exactly what's going on over there. For now, though, no matter where you're driving this morning, if you have to leave the house, be prepared for slick, slippery winter driving conditions. We have seen several cars uh, uh, either pulled off the side of the road for tire problems or little fender benders. Uh, we saw one of those in Coeur d'Alene. We also saw a semi truck early this morning on division that couldn't make its way up division. So it was pulled off on the side of the road, blocking one of the lanes. You can even see this semi uh, kind of right ahead of us to the right has its hazards on lots of cars with hazards on as we are going much slower than typical freeway speeds. So again, we, we, we all hear every single year, but today in particular, go slow on the roads uh, and make sure you're leaving room between you and other people on the road. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crime 2 News. Nicole, thank you for that perspective from the Krem2 Storm Tracker. Yeah, you can see the roads not really improving at all this morning, even with some cars on the roadways. Even Washdot telling us this morning that a vehicle hit a snowplow and that took that snowplow out of commission, which of course is not helping clear the roadways. So, Nicole, thank you. Well, because the roads are so bad, a lot of schools making the decision to either close or delay school today because it is just not safe to be out on the roadways right now. Channing Curtis back in studio keeping a close eye on the new school closings and delays. Channing, what's the very latest? Yeah, Tim, there are so many school districts in our area that have been staying weather aware and keeping track of this storm and have decided to cancel school for today. So here's a list of some of those schools that have decided to close today. They include Coeur d'Alene Public Schools, Post Fall School District, Spokane Public Schools, Central Valley Schools, and East Valley Schools. And again, some of these other school districts, they include as well the Cheney School District, Chawila, Davenport, Deer Park, and Freeman School District. All of these school districts are closed today. Now, right now, for a complete list of those schools that have decided to cancel school for today, you can take a look at the bottom of your screen, and they're scrolling right there, and they will be continuing to do so all morning long here on Up With Krim. And we'll continue to keep you updated with school districts in our area as they decide to cancel or even delay their school start here on Up With Krim. And you can also go to our website, krim.com. Another note this morning, the Spokane County Libraries have just announced that they will be closing today as well, so that's another one to keep in mind. When it comes to the one thing you need to know about today's weather, we're going to hyper focus on this morning because the heaviest snow is falling right now and likely continues through about noon or one o'clock today, which is more scattered sh snow showers throughout the rest of our Wednesday. We're taking a live look outside right now at I-90 and U.S. Interchange, and you, you can see those lights right there, the flashing lights on your screen. There's a big backup in that area right now. You can even see from this traffic cam just how heavy the snow is falling and that you, there's very low visibility in that area. We're keeping you up to date with road conditions all throughout our area, and we have complete team coverage on this winter storm all morning long here on Up With Crimp.